Hi everyone, it's your friend with the funny family and I have another funny family story coming up for you right now. Just remember, it's about the story, not the makeup, not a makeup tutorial. Also remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. So anyone who's ever traveled with a toddler knows that there are certain um, <clears throat> challenges <laughs> that come with that. Well, try moving with one. <laughs> so that's what brings us to our story today. When I was 18 months old, my parents decided to move to Wyoming for better opportunities and some different options for us as a family. We had to drive about two, two and a half hours from where we were to Wyoming. We load up the truck and my dad is driving the U-Haul truck and he is towing the family car behind it. My mom is driving a minivan following him in the truck to make sure the car doesn't, you know, like swerve or, you know, stays hooked on, all that good stuff. And then my grandfather was driving behind us in his vehicle because he was going to drive up, help us unload, you know, get everything settled and then drive back the next day. Load up the cars and trucks and trailers with all of our stuff and we hit the road. Me, me. About 30, 35 minutes into the drive on the interstate, mom looks back and there I am standing up in my car seat, triumphantly. Now I had gotten out of my car seat before, but most of the time if mom put me back in the car seat, I would stay in the car seat until we got to our destination because we weren't going very far. Understandable, yeah. Sure. So we didn't have cell phones at this time, so my mom kind of flashes her lights at, at my dad in front of her and turns on her turn signal and we all make our way to the side of the road. Dad and grandpa both get out and they're kind of like, was there car trouble? What's going on? And she's like, no, she got out of her car seat. Let me just try to put her back in. And they're like, oh, okay. And since they were familiar that I would get out of my car seat occasionally, they're like, yeah, well, we'll just put her back in it'll be fine. That's what you guys think. <laughs> we hit the road again and about 15 or 20 minutes into the trip that we just pulled over from, so we've driven 30 minutes, then we drive another maybe 15 or 20 minutes down the road, and my brother says, mom, she's out again, because I was trying to crawl on him to get out of my car seat. Yeah, fun times. Pull over again, everyone gets out, and my brother's kind of like, well, I have to pee anyway. So grandpa takes my brother to go find a bush on the side of the road, and mom is trying to figure out how exactly I'm getting out. She's like, maybe I didn't get the strap all the way in, you know, like they have those little straps on car seats that sit on the chest of the child. She's like, maybe I didn't get it all the way in, and so it just kind of like fell out. So like, maybe if I secure it and like slide it kind of higher up on our chest, then it'll stay in place, because that's probably how she's getting out. So at this point, my grandfather's like, you gotta stay in your car seat, honey. It's the law. You gotta be good girl for your mom. And I'm like, okay, sure. Nope. We start down the road yet again. And about 20 minutes later, mom hears a click and she's like, Lord have mercy. This child is out of her car seat again. At this point, this is the third time we've pulled over and my dad is like, you know what, if you have to pull over again, go ahead and do it, but I'm gonna keep going because this two and a half hour trip is gonna take four hours if we keep stopping at this rate. Come on, kids. He's like, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going. You stop if you need to and, you know, grandpa can still follow you, but I'm gonna just get there and you can catch up to me. Which I can understand. It's probably very hard to pull over a U-Haul trailer hauling a car to the side of the road in our crazy ass caravan that we have going right now. Yeah, crazy caravan. Mom puts me back in the car seat and she is still trying to figure out how I'm exactly getting out because she's like, she's obviously being able to reach the buckle, you know, so, and I'm getting an arm out of one of the straps somehow. So she's like, there's got to be something going on here that's not attaching right or, you know, she's trying to figure it out. She's like, we got to get this going. We got to get this kid in check. Mom's trying to figure out how to keep me in my car seat. Eyeliner. And then we'll be right back. We're back on the road again and 30 more minutes go by. Dad has taken off. He's not pulling over again. And I'm out of my car seat again. Mom flashes her lights, pulls over to the road. She's like, what the heck? At this point, she's getting a little frustrated with her sweet little baby angel because needs to stay in your car seat. 
Can't be pulling over. This trip really is going to take four hours. Come on, girl. My mom finally looks over and she realizes that I'm getting the, the middle clasp slid down far enough that I can get my arm out. And that is how I'm reaching the buckle. What we need here is something that will allow the clasp to stay high enough that she can't get her arm out of it. Smart lady, right? So she's like, what do I have? What's going on? And she looks down to my cute little pair of Mary Jane buckle shoes. Perfect. She takes my shoe off. She clasps the buckle upside down underneath the, uh, the the strap so that you have to basically like turn the shoe over to like see the buckle. So the sole of the shoe is facing out and the buckle is firmly around the strap. We are going to keep you in your car seat, child. Oh boy, we are. My grandfather comes over and sees said shoe on grandchild's chest and starts to chuckle to himself. He high fives my mom. Way to be consistent, girl. He then looks over to me and rubs my hair affectionately <laughs> saying, let's see you get out of that one, Houdini. Magic. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna stay in the car for the rest of the ride, that's for sure. We arrive at our destination in Wyoming at the uh, trailer, not a manufactured home, an actual trailer that we were going to be living in for the foreseeable future which is a whole nother story. Yeah, whole nother story. And my dad goes to help me out of my car seat and he's like, how do you get this undone? <laughs> my mom managed not only to uh, outsmart a toddler, but apparently men aren't very good with small little girl buckles. So she's like, don't worry about her. I got her, you just do the other stuff. That's my funny family story for today. Join me next time for more funny family stories on Pineapple Thursday because Friday is too far away. <laughs>